Dear student, we have already started chapter 3 in, that is inserting images and creating HTML tables in HT, uh, creating tables in HTML5. So dear class 10 students, we will continue this chapter. Okay, till now we have done graphics interchange format, joined uh, expert groups. JPG, JPEG, Portable Network Graphics, PNG, etc. Okay. Now, now, uh, whatever table it is given, you have to memorize this one, huh? This one you have to memorize. Okay. B. IMG tag this table you have to memorize right and this codings also you try to memorize and do in your copy without any mistake everything should be same okay we have uh, so we will do this one, we will continue this practice time again because in the last class it was not completed. Let's do it. So the question is Subhash has to create a web page that provides the definition of e-waste along with an appropriate image help him to write the HTML document html5 code to create such an web page okay so we have already written one of this okay uh, we have done only already one one of the example so we'll do it again find out let's see if I, uh, I have already done the code take the code from here and paste it here in the notepad okay so it is same same like that doc type HTML so image instead of image we write here something else you write down mm. write down ev Style is same, image, uh, the CSS is same for the both, for this one, H2 means heading 2, this text transform is uppercase, it should be uppercase, style is closed, now head, body, you will write down here something else, whatever it is, whatever written in the book. Head is waste image border text. Okay, style head heading will be erased. Okay, image source will be erased. Dot jpg. Let's see whatever it is. Image dot jpg. 
heading will be e-waste Sources, whatever it is, erase dot jpg. Okay, so it is erase dot jpg. Erase dot jpg. Let's find out this image. Image uh, erased f uh, image. It is in the folder. Let's find the folder first. Let's go to desktop first. I think it was in library. Okay. So let's see what is what the name is. No, e waste. It is here. It is e waste. E dash waste. So we'll correct it. So we'll write e dot dash waste. Now it is correct. Whether it is JPG or Let's, let's check it out. Erase dot jpg. Okay, it's fine. Hmm? Erase dot jpg. Now we will will not change this one. Let let it be there. Okay. Let's let's the let 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 us keep it there. We'll do it. We'll uh, remove it afterward. Doing one program. Now we'll save it. Save it means we'll save it to in the same the same folder. Okay, desktop. Now our program is running on February twenty one. I think. Huh? Let's see. Where is February? Yeah, here we have the um, erased image. So we'll we'll save it here only. So it should not be text. It should be JPG. Mm, let us call this as e-waste folder. Uh, e-waste JPG. Not JPG. We will write it e-waste HTML. Dot HTML. Remove this one. Dash just name it erased dot html save already exists so we'll remove it okay let's see whether we got it here or not in the folder erased so minimize it let's see find out erased erased yeah here is the browser erased browser Let's see, got it or not? Yes, see. So we got the e waste. Now, image is not available since dragon is not available, so it is showing not available. So we don't want this one image available. We'll remove the coding for image available. Okay, just see. We need, we don't need this one, this line. Okay, anymore. So again you save it this time you just save again just check it out in the browser you just refresh it so it is gone okay what is this what this is coming Let's check it out. Why this dash is coming? Oh, there is a gap. That's why. Huh? Okay, again, save it. And minimize it again. Refresh it again. Okay, fine. And there is something. So you got the erased. So you have understood this program. Now, 
we have done this one now we go to the next page so we will be doing now creating tables uh, tables the table arranges data in row and column table in web pages help organization organize help table in web page help organize the data and make it easier to read and interpret data website with content arranged in columnar layout as in the case of newspaper generally use tables for this purpose okay you know in newspaper all the everything contents are written in table wise you will not see the table but they are in columns okay website with content arranged in columnar layout as in the case of newspaper generally use tables for purpose tables allow proper arrangement of each piece of information on the website where each cell of the table can contain text graphics and links thus tables are a powerful tools for organizing the content of the web page okay and now we'll create table so these are the tags you have to remember tags and their attributes okay shows the table basic tags that are used to create tables in the html document so table you will start with table first and and end up with off tag table table tag name is table tag this is main tag that is used to define a table in a html5 so you just mark it, it is important you have to memorize it okay tr or off tag tr this this is table row tag this is a table row tag the table row tag defines a horizontal row of cells this will define horizontal row of the cell td td means table data tag okay td tag this and this is off 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 tag td okay so this is table data tag the table data tag specifies an individual block or cell in a table row table row th th or th this is a header cell okay the table header indicates that the cell is a header for a column or a row caption and dash this is off tag caption off caption okay table caption means heading it gives the headings captions gives the headings mainly okay table caption heading a def a heading defines and caption for the title of the table so the properties that can be used for formatting tables are given in this table 3.3 caption side specify this placement of the table caption top it is it, it default it is it captions are mostly at the top or maybe if you wish you can write bottom bottom so caption side is bottom here it is maybe caption side is top if it is it nothing is written it's top border spacing the, there is a spacing between the borders specify the distance between the borders of the adjacent cell so value 1 value 2 in pixels or centimeters etc if the both the values are specified then the first value if it is in specifies vertical spacing second value specify first value will show the uh, horizontal spacing and the second will show the vertical spacing if only one of the two value is given it is besides both horizontal and vertical spacing so border spacing 5 se 5 pixels 7 pixels border spacing 10 pixels that is equal to ten, sorry spacing border spacing 10 pixels 15 pixels okay we'll do it now in the practical exam example border collapse means if, if we don't want the borders then we will use this collapse space whether the table border should be collapse or not separate in default it is separate 
you have to if you want to do, want it to be collapsed you have to write collapse so border collapse collapse okay so let's do an example okay let's do an example okay empty cells specify whether to display the border and the background for empty cell is it in a table or not show if it show hide or you have to you have to show or hide empty cell hide empty cell maybe empty cell or hide with specify the width of the table value in percentage or pixels with maybe 100 percent 100 percent it will take the whole screen with 200 pix pixels means it will be less height of the table height of the uh, specify the height of the table values in percentage or pixel if it is in percentage 45 percent of your screen okay height will be 45 percent of your screen height 170 pixels maybe you can write 170 pixels okay consider the let us do the example so you have to write it same way coding but there is slip difference you have to insert table okay doc type you have to start html heading head title you give creating tables style you give you have to adopt this uh, css so you have to write text slash css and then table okay you have to give the property values and all css values so border collapse border should be collapse separate empty cell hide okay border spacing it is 15 and 25 pixels style head style no so and uh, off tag style off tag head now we'll do the body body consists of table first body consists of table caption is simple table okay caption heading it will be the heading tr it, if it is not written anything that means it is at the top header cell 1 we we'll write like this header cell 2 header cell 3 and it goes on so table row it is row it is row this is the row table cell 1 table cell 2 cell 2 tr okay So TD table data table data will be in column okay row one cell row one cell two this is the cell two okay and then again again table this is closed again table row again you have to start with table row then table data are this one row one cell two row one sorry row 1 cell 1 yeah row 2 cell 1 sorry this is the table row okay row 2 cell 1 row 2 cell 2 row 2 cell 3 so you have to close it again huh? then you have to close the table okay this was in table close the table then body then html this program is done so let's do it practically with the notepad okay so we'll forget this one first clean it up now we'll find the coding we have done it already let's see where it is okay control c now paste it again so we got it everything whatever written in book it is written here okay just save it and you go to file and save as now not erased down some table table one okay file name is table one dot html table one dot HTML okay it should be desktop 
and we have ready hemp 21 okay let's do it again save it let's find out where it is table one let's see where is table one let's find out table one yeah here table not table one it is written table only okay we'll make it rename it we'll make it we have we'll make bubbles so we'll rename it we'll, we'll give name to table one okay this will one Rename it in other other this way also okay now let us see whether that or not see here it is created in the browser okay row one cell one row one cell two row one cell three row two cell one row two cell one okay now here i mean the borders are not displayed so we will do the another example okay this is done now we want we want this table only the borders okay in this case we'll change something okay so our example so we have done this one now we'll do the other one doc type html html so same thing is written tables see here creating tables titles name is creating table border okay let's see we have forgotten to show you what is the heading here okay not this one uh, we'll heading is creating table okay creating table okay creating table title is creating table let's see it is simple table we have written at heading 2 so it is simple table has come okay now let's do the another program so the another program you will do same way 2 pixels so border there is border previously there was no border here it is border that is two pixels solid blue okay empty cells hide other cells you hide border spacing five pixels and eight pixels okay caption side bottom style heading out somewhere else let's see okay so i'll copy this codings and make some changes okay now we do let's forget this one So we'll give this okay so it's in the book it is given blue I have made it red or anything else you want okay you can change it border spacing is 5 pixels and 4 8 pixels okay caption is bottom it should be written in the caption side is bottom so
Okay. So HTML. I have not written doc type. Can write it also. Now, just save it again. So our heading will be simple table. Okay, we'll save it. Now we'll this time we'll save it as table two. Let's go to the folder again. Ready to and save it as table two. Instead of one, we'll write two here. So this will be a different table. Okay. Now let's go to the folder again. Table two is there or not? Let's see. Yeah, in the browser it has come. Just check it. So see it has come. Okay. So the caption is in the bottom. Right. Now we go to the next 